All right, today we are going to go do a side-by-side -side comparison of using Descript's Studio Sound feature versus a new AI plugin for Audacity. And I just want to compare the two, see which one works. So Descript is a paid program. Uh, they do have a free plan, but if you're really using um, a lot of bandwidth and you've got a lot of time that you're putting into processing audio, uh, you're going to use that free version of the script really, really fast. Beauty of Audacity is it's completely free. So that being said, uh, I came across this video uh, by Mike Russell. Um, I'm glad I, looked, I clicked on it and uh, checked it out because it the, the AI tools that he talks about, at least from the video that I watched, or at least from the portions of the video that I watched, were for Audacity. And this was just beautiful. Uh, I'm just uh, really, really glad that I clicked on that because uh, I had no idea it had to do with Audacity. And, and so it was a pleasant surprise. I'm going to put the link to his video down below in the description because I definitely want to give credit where credit is due. And then um, what we'll do is we're going to go over to the actual plugin. It's a plugin for Audacity. And we're going to check that out as well. And uh, I'll show you where to get it. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and just walk through. Uh, he does show you how to install it on his video, but things are just a little bit different. Not a lot. Things have changed a little bit. Audacity's got some updates. This plugin has some updates. Uh, so let's pop over there and I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So right here is uh, Mike Russell's video. Again, I'll have the link in the description for that. Um, I actually have uh, it starting at 62 seconds where he starts going into it. Uh, this is the link for the AI plugin that you're going to want to use for Audacity. Uh, again, I want to give credit where credit's due, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know for sure, um, that this is a plugin that's being produced or um, being written and managed by this Ryan Metcalf. So Ryan Metcalf, uh, again, if you're the gentleman who's taking care of this, uh, boy, thank you. This is this is just beautiful. So again, I want to give credit where credit's due because this is a, a just a beautiful uh, tool. That being said, uh, I also want to, before we get too far ahead, if you aren't using Audacity and you need to download it, you can go to the Audacity uh, webpage here, audacityteam.org, download, and here are the downloads for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Okay, um, not going to go through the actual download of Audacity today, but we will run through, and I'm going to show you right now. Let's go over here to releases. We're just going to go right here to this link right here, and it's uh, he's already got it set up uh, as an .exe file. You could go into the source code if you wanted to. He's got a zip file. You, he's got a, a tar file, which is uh, similar to a zip file for for a Windows user. This .exe file is all you're going to need, and literally just you just click on it, and it's downloading here. So it's going to go into my downloads folder. So let me go grab it. Uh, we're going to open it. All right, it opened in my downloads folder. And we're literally just going to double click on it. Here, I'll bring this over. And then from the download folder, you just double click on it. You go ahead and click on yes when you have the user account control pop up. And you just do next and run through everything. You can read the licensing information if you'd like to and scroll down and then once you're done you can go ahead and click on next uh, if you have again i would recommend if you don't have audacity installed yet i would go ahead and install audacity first and it's automatically going into the audacity folder so there's there's no dragging things from one folder to another with this particular install uh, you just literally click on add next now this is remembering my last install i've already installed this these aren't going to all be checked uh, I went ahead and just decided I'm just going to install them all. They, they really aren't huge files. So I just went and clicked on them all and installed them all. And then you literally just click on next and it's going to go through and uh, download any additional files that are needed. We'll go ahead and let that run real quick uh, and then we'll take it to the next step. All right. This, I don't remember it taking this long, but it took a good five minutes or more. I mean, it was, it took a little while to get all of the files downloaded. So uh, let's go ahead and let's just minimize this and get that out of the way. And then we're just going to click on install. All right. So keep in mind when you're doing this, I, I pause the video. It does take quite a bit of time to download all the files and to install, but we're at the point now where we're finishing up. We're going to click on finish 
and we should be good to go. Now again, I told you that we had Audacity installed already. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull Audacity and Descript up side by side. All right, so we have Audacity on the left. We have a Descript on the right. This is our file with the background noise. Let me just play it for you so you can kind of get an idea what we're dealing with here. This is Dana Morrison from the IT Path Podcast. I hope you're doing great today. Remember at IT Path, we wanna keep you unlocked on your IT. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this uh, project and pop it into Descript first. So we'll do new audio project, upload a file. We're just gonna drag this over, drop it in. Well, that's working. We're gonna do the same thing over here with Audacity, just drop it in. All right, so now we've got our file in Descript and we have our file in uh, Audacity. Now what we need to do, I'm just gonna close this down. We don't need it anymore. Uh, we have a couple of little things we still need to do in Audacity to get that new plugin ready to go. What we wanna do is go up here to edit, go down to preferences, click on preferences, once preferences opens up, if it's not uh, already on it, you want to go down to modules. And what I end up doing here, if you see anything that's not enabled, I just, I enable it all. I just, I go and I enable it all, enabled. And what we're looking for here, this mod, Open Vino, this is that new plugin. And this plugin, once it's uh, enabled, has a number of small, a number of tools. We're going to use uh, the background noise suppression tool. Uh, but let's go ahead and click on enabled and uh, here I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to enable it. I want everything enabled in my modules. All right. So there we go. Now what we want to do is actually use, let's get, let's click on the play button here. This is Dana Morrison from the IT path. This is Dana Morrison from the IT. Can you just stop it? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to first work with the file on the left in Audacity. We're going to go up to Effect. We're going to go to Open Vino AI Effects, and we're going to go to Open Vino Noise Suppression. We're going to click on that, and here select the audio for Open Vino Suppression. So we haven't done that yet. So, but let's just go ahead and just click on this whole thing. Could do a Control A, and then we're going to do Effect. Open Vino Effects Noise Suppression. And here you can either use the CPU or the GPU. So CPU is your processor on your computer. Uh, GPU is your graphics card. I'm gonna go ahead and use my graphics card. And uh, it's got a noise suppression model already up in here. We could do uh, advanced options if we want to. I'm just gonna leave everything default. We're gonna click on apply. And I don't know, that took a couple of seconds. All right, so now let's go ahead and click on play. This is Dana Morrison from the IT Path Podcast. I hope this is Dana Morrison from- Okay, so let's over here, I haven't done anything with this file yet. So we're gonna click in here and we're gonna click on play. This is Dana Morrison from- So that's the original. This is Dana Morrison from the IT Path Podcast. I hope this is Dana- Okay, so now let's go over and let's also run this now through Descript's Studio sound option. So you go ahead and click into the dialogue. Then you go up here to script and you click on script. Okay. Right down here, we're going to click this toggle option here. Just click it on. It's going to process it. Applying studio sound. And again, I'm not pausing the video this time because I want it to uh, also just see Okay, it looks like it's probably done. Let's go ahead and click on play. This is Dana Morrison from the IT Path Podcast. And one of the beauties about Descript. I hope you're doing is, great today. Remember at IT Path, we want to keep you unlocked on your IT you can journey. You this on and off while it's playing to see what's going on, right? So let's go ahead and let's do a side by side now. We'll click into here and click on play. This is Dana Morrison from the IT. All right. Do over here, same thing. This is Dana Morrison from the IT Path Podcast. I hope you're... So there you have it, everyone. That is a side-by-side -side comparison of the free Open Vino AI tool uh, that you can connect to Audacity, which is also completely free, uh, versus 
the Descript, which does have a free plan, but if you're using these tools a lot, you're going to use up the uh, bandwidth that you need uh, in Descript pretty fast. And so if you've got uh, a lot of stuff that you're doing and you want to keep your costs down, this Audacity, uh, so far from what I'm seeing, uh, is, is pretty robust. So that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you can, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below and have an awesome day.